Hello once again. Uh, welcome to the course Human Behavior in Organizations, OHRM 303. Today's session, session 10, we will be looking at creativity and innovation. This is a very short session, and I would want you to pay very, very close attention to what we are going to discuss. Creativity and innovation. Every day of our lives, we are thinking of something new. But to what extent are we able to put all these you know, wonderful ideas into something practical? In this course, we are going to um, look at what we actually mean, what is creativity, and then what innovation is. Usually, these terms are used interchangeably, but of course, there is a difference. In creativity, we are thinking about how you combine ideas in a unique way, or you think about something that is you know, so unique or something which is so new or unusual. Then innovation, we are looking at how you are able to channel those unique ideas, those unusual ideas into something useful. And simply, we say that in creativity, we are thinking about something, but then in innovation, that is where you actually implement those creative ideas. I hope this is clear. Let me just take it quickly again. In creativity, you are thinking about something new or something abstract, or something that really, really does not exist yet. Now, innovation, that is where you actually bring those fantastic thoughts that you have into real action. So that is the relationship between creativity and innovation. To stimulate and then nurture innovation, let's look at the systems model. That is how it can be applied in the organization. Now, for system, we talk about the input, the process, and then the output. At times, you also say that for system, we are uh, talking about how parts are interrelated and also how they are interdependent. But in this particular model, we are looking at the input, the process, and then the output as a definition for the process, uh, for the system. In this systems model, that is of how to nurture innovation, we talk about having creative people. So at the beginning, we want to bring in uh, organizational members or candidates who have creative ideas. Now, in order to know how people are creative, usually through the interview and then other selection methods, we are able to screen and we get to know those who, who have very nice ideas or creative ideas that are consistent with the vision or the uh, purpose for the organization. So we have such creative people in the organization. Now, with such creative people, they have to find themselves in the right environment. Now you can have a lot of people, you can have people with very bright ideas, but then they will be in the wrong environment. Now if they are in an environment that is not enabling, in an environment that does not allow them to explore, that does not give them the opportunity to try out their creative uh, ideas, then all those ideas will eventually die. And so we can have creative people now, once they work in the right environment, then it means that they are being groomed or they are being nurtured. And as a result, we're able to have you know, the innovative product and work methods. Indeed, I very well believe that there are some individuals who um, you know, have invented some things that we use now. If they had worked in a different work environment, there are some of the inventions that we have now that would really, really not have been in existence. In the same way, there are some of the things that, uh, there are certain things that I believe should also, uh, that we should also have now, that will make life easier for us. But because there are some individuals who, are, who have not found themselves yet in the right environment, we don't have such innovative products and then work methods. Now, the right environment is one that stimulates innovation. And that answers or that addresses what we are talking about on this particular slide. That is stimulating and nurturing innovation. It is the right environment. So if the environment is enabling, surely there will be innovation. So it begins from the creativity, having the right environment, and then we have the uh, innovative products and then work methods. 
as I mentioned, this is going to be a very short session. Now, for your session activity, this is what I want you to do. We've said that creativity and innovation are used interchangeably. Okay. Now, how are they similar and how do they differ? I want you to do a lot of reading about it and then come out with a lot more similarities and differences. And also in your um, group activity or at your group levels, just see um, or give examples of individuals who found themselves in the right environment and also list the sort of innovative products and services um, or work methods that we now have as a result of the working in an enabling environment. I wish you the very best in your discussions and then hope to see you in the next session. Thank you.